to my channel my name is Krista and this is Krista Display so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys some war room ideas in your binder so if you're ready for today's video let's just jump straight all right guys so this is my first ever war binder um, and I thought why not show you guys what I had in it um, I really love this this is what really sparked my prior life and I thought why not share with you guys what I have do a flip through so as you can see all these stickers here these are from Amazon love these like um, it's like a Jesus sticker love them and I got this folder also from Amazon good things take time just a reminder for me that prior praying for people um, and you know seeing God answer it you have to be consistent you can't just stop praying you have to keep on praying all right so as you can see here more stickers and then it's just a reminder for me comes what may pray daily in Jesus name this is my cover I printed um, I printed this well created it on Canva and then printed it out so I call it prior binder by yours truly right this is my business meeting with God template. It will be available soon on my sh in my shop, so stay tuned for that. I have just templates here because um, I used to do a business meeting with God. I'm still trying to get back into it since, you know, all that. But yeah, and then these are just some Bible verses on different, you know, various topics. Uh, so there's spiritual growth and then just there's just so much more so I just printed them off from Pinterest and put it in here this as you can see right this is literally um, like my 31 days in winter so this was the first template I ever made right when it comes to like spend different ways to spend time with God and this was when I was in a spiritual rut why I created this but now I have a notion template that is available on my shop as well so definitely check it out if you haven't already it's called the quiet time retreat where you spend time with God um, different for each and every day I think it's like 30 days or 31 days um, each in each season so yeah and it's so much better than this template right here but yeah so that was the inspiration this is a checklist so that's a bible reading checklist that i have i can't remember where i got it from oh here's it says here teach so it is teach sunday school so it was a free template i got and that was it template i think so yeah it's either it was on pinterest or this website directly can't remember so that's that that's the bible checklist then how to anoint your home i just got this from pinterest as well and printed it out then this is like various ways to pray um like different prayer methods um i can't remember where i got this from um but yeah i think i saw it on pinterest and then it linked me to the the main website so this is like different ways um, to pray because so I was really like you know wanting to know what are the different ways you can pray and all that so yeah praying the Psalms fell in love with this method and uh, they have prior doodles as well apparently but I don't do that one <laughs> but you can try it out if you want then I have this, this is from Pinterest as well, 22 ways, 22 reasons, sorry, to praise God. So, you know, whenever you feel like, you know, you don't know why you should, why are you praising God or you don't feel like praising God, this, you can go to Psalms 145 as a reminder. This is another template. Um, so I have like more, this was before I created my own Bible reading plan. I was searching for the right Bible reading plan. Can't seem to find the right one, but I created um, a new one called the light Bible reading plan. And it is super like more engaging. It's a notion template. And literally all you can do is you start from the shortest book to the longest book and you get to go through the Bible quicker that way. So check it out as well.
then we have thanksgiving right scriptures um all that i got this from you version and it stood out to me so that's why i printed it out like write down 10 things that you're thankful for pray over the list celebrate god's goodness then you have the our father prior a continuation really that kingdom come that will be done give us this day our daily bread which links in the theme of thanksgiving right <music> confession created on canva and this is just like um scripture writing plans that was on pinterest so i just printed it off right and this is just like all my repentance um yeah just me confessing to god a letter or, or a prayer this is like if you want to like keep your stuff private and you know just in case someone flips through what I did, I would write my confession or repentance here and then fold it in half. So that way it's still private, but it's still that like you confess it to God. So that's how you can keep it private if you want, right? Next section is others. And you know, as you can see, the theme is different, but it is all bright colored, right? So I have others here. So that means other things I pray for um and then it was different things that i have like i have like a prior challenge here then you know the armor of god i printed off and then i kind of made notes on it more armor of god reading plan from garments of splendor most of the things that i have in here is from garments of splendor this is also from garments of splendor and it's like a weekly prior guide and you know she has like a whole schedule that I kind of I think that I adopted some of them so like Monday is mission um, Tuesday is Thanksgiving double is you know world Wednesday so it's like you know her own template that I kind of adapted to my life into like a prior card now then she has like a prior Kalinda from garments of splendor I it worked out for a bit but it just didn't work out for me in the end like weekly schedule initially i was praying for like each member each day of the week i really need to get back into this but these are all the members i have in women of my to follow my ministry and then i just create this template from canva again prior of the day prior is your lifeline to god stay connected and this is just a reminder for me really um so this is like urgent prayers so all the urgent prayers as you can see right let me just skip to like a blank one so i create this template as well on canva um i just put urgent price here selfless pray for a stranger so i have this app um i forgot what it's called but i'm gonna do a quick app faith app review soon on like specific apps for prayer that you can use and specific apps for bible study and specific you know and my favorite apps that i use for my general study as well so i'm gonna show you guys that on my ipad very very soon so stay tuned for that video but yeah so i would go into this app and i don't know these people but they would ask for prayer and then i would literally make a note of their name and then put it on here and then pray for them that's what i used to do in the past um the prayer binder <laughs> it worked for a time but no you know i'm just showing you guys some ideas just in case you you do have a, a binder and you do want to pray or you don't know what how to 
you know organize your mind and then i'm just showing you guys some ideas but i really need to get back into this because it was really fruitful but i think over time i may i put too much things in it and then it got overwhelming so i would say that you know don't put too much stuff in your binder and if anything i would literally minimize this size to something like a lot smaller size which i'm going to show you guys to the end towards the end of this video but yeah so that's thursday now friday now friday is friends and family so that means so that means my family so my immediate family my extended family my in-laws all those that's when i would pray their specific request here and as you can see here the template is friday friends and family so we all know friday is friends and family day so yeah um so that's what i did i'm not going to show you guys what the sticky note but it's pretty much the same as the previous one so you have the template here sticky notes all over regarding for that what i do um if it's for each family member i would put their name up here and then i would put their request down below so just to give you an idea how to set it up like you know followers subscribers so i've always been praying for you guys um even to this day it's on my prior card to like pray for all my followers subscribers for so youtube podcasts all of y'all um so it's right here um and then i would you know pray for other stuff regarding youtube really so that's what i have for sunday <music> another section is petition and this is just like personal petition so this is not petition regarding other people this is just petition for yourself so what you're seeking god for asking god for um so yeah so i have here prior to stop worrying because i do worry a lot so i just make sure i put that there then this is just like other so other requests that i might have for myself personally and then I have like this little template here from my ministry um, that I made for the ladies ages ago, really. But this is just whenever you forget, when you feel condemned, when you feel like God doesn't love you, if you mess up, if you feel alone, or when you think God won't forgive you. Definitely screenshot this because the enemy tends to tell us lies that, oh, if we mess up, that's it. If we feel alone, that's it. If we feel condemned, that's it. And he just uses all these lies so i printed this off just for the ladies um to remember so that's that <laughs> So this I made here, letters to God, and this is just literally personal letters for real. Like I'll just write down like letters literally to God. Um, I have like this template called a worry planner. Let me show you guys. So it's like a worry planner template, and it literally just goes through like list of worries that you have for that month. 
um, you reflecting why were you worried why you should, why you should trust God praying to Heavenly Father so this will be available soon on my in my shop as well like a template and then what I do once I write it down for the month or for the week and then I'll just put it in here tuck it away as if it's been delivered to God as a letter so I call it letters to God really so it's just a little brown bag that I have and then I just attach it hole punch it in then this is like my reads so it was like a summer read um reading list that i had then as you can see the whole template here see list of worries and all that so it was really good for me and um, 2020 rules so how you can spend time with god effectively without wasting your time i have that <laughs> here my prior journal planner and this is just like a you know i did like a whole flip through of this so definitely check it out will be linked down below but i jumped from that to this right and i used it till it was finished i was so sad when it's finished but yeah this this is really amazing it's basically a summarization of what has what it has in here like a whole like it has the schedule it has the scripture it has like a lot of a lot more things um which you know i'll link the flip through down below but yeah i literally it, i realized that this was too overwhelming so i reduced the size and i was praying a lot in this but then once it finished then i said oh man should i get another one or should i just you know so i try to like what i do as well sometimes i try to try all different things so i would try this out for a moment and then i would switch to another method so now my current method is like prior cards so like those little index cards and then i'll put the prior schedule on it so i'm always switching things up it's never always the same so i think i would i highly recommend you trying it out see if it works if it does work stick to it if it doesn't then try something else so yeah guys um this is literally on amazon this is available this is one of my products um i think i made a bible journal um prompt as well so definitely check out those if you are interested but yeah guys i really hope that today has in inspired you to get your prayer life together because yes i was saying that your prayer life is your lifeline so if you're not if your prayer life is not on fleek it's gonna be very it's, it's it's gonna be a struggle i'm telling you like reading your bible praying consistently and at least fasting once a week if you do those three things trust me you'll be spiritually enriched I've, but the thing with me now i'm good at reading my bible but i struggle with my prayer while i spoke to one of my friends and my friend said she's great in her prior life but she struggles in her bible so everyone's you know struggle is different right but i keep working at it I, I realize that if you're not intentional in getting your faith life together it will never happen so to just be intentional with your faith life and trust me with god's help you will be able to master it but it takes time it doesn't just happen overnight like yeah like the prior binder definitely did encourage me to start off it shows me it showed me the importance of praying praying not just for myself because i was back then when i started this binder i was in a season of just praying for myself and i realized that was selfish so i started to pray for other people so as you can see every season is different for everyone but definitely the bible does say pray for other people because other people 
need prior as well just as ourselves and our families so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't liked this video go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribe if you want to grow further in your faith walk as i show you guys interesting ways how to build up your faith in god and yeah and i'll see you guys in another video bye crystallites and check out my gumroad shop that i have um that will be linked on the screen and you can check that out if you want more faith filled goodies that will help you to grow in your faith walk mm -hmm.